In fishermen helped to pioneer modern day tactics for catching pike through the ice. Aggressive jigging tactics remain one part of the equation, but tip-up tactics still prevail. Here we spend a day with one of those pioneering anglers to have a look at tip-up options for today, along with rigging lessons to help you catch more fish. Always exciting when the flag goes. There we go. Up and at them, nice, 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 nice. There we go. Woo! Beautiful thick little guy. He's not so small, it's gonna be about yeah, maybe 12 pounds anyway. Hooked in the corner of the mouth there. Perfectly. Get that out of there. And, you know, a little late season excursion is really early ice for us here in Minnesota. So, lake I've never been on, well, I have been on a long, long time ago, so decided to come and try it. Special regulation lake, all of the fish uh, below 40 inches have to be released. I uh, wasn't going to keep any fish anyway, so just thought we'd come and check it out. Beautiful. We're going to talk tip-ups and a little bit of uh, strategy. You know, a lot of people, I love to do the hand-over-hand -hand thing myself. How you doing there, bud? Oh, yeah. Down we go. So just a little double hook rig right here. I like to fish this uh, with uh, some of the bigger suckers like I've got today. So the lead hook's going to go about by the dorsal fin. And the tail hook is going to go in the top of the tail, about right there. So, now a lot of people would want to put that lead hook away up here by the head, but on a lake like this in particular, and with the quick strike rigging, what you're trying to do is have these fish be releasable. So when a fish grabs this, I don't have to wait. I can set the hook right away, thus the quick strike rigging. But if you put that hook way up here, the lead hook, you're gonna get those fish are hooked in the throat way more than you should. So down we go. And I can watch it go down on my sonar. We're on the edge of a big flat, nothing unusual about where we're at. Uh, weeds out to about 10 feet, and then this is the edge and about 11. So if I'm in 11, I'm gonna set about three feet off the bottom. You can see we got these notches in here for big baits. Oh, there we go, flags up. You know, sometimes that first ice, we've got about 10 inches of ice, so. But, I mean, a lot of times you're worried about spooking fish when you get up to the uh, tip up like this, but we've got enough cover here that we're not having that trouble today at all. Let's see what we got going here. Not big. He's a, <laughs> out you go. You know, this is probably the first uh, lake that I've fished on where everything below 40 inches in Minnesota has to be released. And of course, everybody's always second guessing regulations, but maybe a few smaller ones could be harvested, I think. Anyway. I'm in favor of the regulation. Back we go. Whoop. So a lot of times first ice, my first excursion, I'm gonna to wanna to eat some fish, but we can't do that today. So uh, we're using riggings that are beneficial for releasing fish. So that double hook rigging is actually my favorite, especially with bigger baits. The single treble like this is much more popular in most areas across the country. Uh, this is an actually a 774 Eagle Claw. Nice stiff hook, I like a nice stiff hook, not such a light hook. And this one happens to be in red. So this just goes right in the back of the dorsal fin once again. So the fish swims forward, the fish is usually gonna grab it by the head and try to swallow it head first, of course. And so you've got a very good chance yet you're gonna hook fish on the corner of the mouth or inside the mouth and not down in the gullet. So simple rigging, a little bit smaller bait in this case. Oh, there we go, flags up. Okay. That feels better. A little bit anyway, let's see. Whoa. Some people think they don't like to play and fish hand over hand like this, but I don't mind. I think it's kinda kinda cool. Catch fish all year long with a rod and reel, so. 
Nice and easy here. Get his head started. There we go. Get those off there. Come on, come here. We'll slip into here. Nice fish. Wow. That's what we're aiming for. Get these weeds off here. He's gonna, that's gonna be way big fish of the day. They're, it's a beautiful marked fish. Get that off, some of that stuff off there. Look at there, man. Wow. Woo. All right. What a great day to be on the water. Wow, I love tip up fishing. Late season, but the beginning of the ice season for us right here, right now. What a beautiful fish. And tip ups, just an integral part of ice fishing for sure. Lots of tip-ups to choose from, and there's lots of situations where you can fish them.